Well, thank you, everybody. It is wonderful to see you. Uh, welcome to the White House. You know, every week, uh, we invite a group of ordinary Americans doing extraordinary things to come to the White House uh, as champions of change. And this week's champions were chosen because uh, they are leaders on their campuses and they're leaders uh, in their communities. So I want to congratulate all of you. Uh, I couldn't be prouder of you. Uh, this is a, a pretty big honor, although it doesn't come with a big prize money thing. <laughs> uh, I want to thank MTV uh, and Viacom for their partnership and their commitment to empowering young people. Uh, I always love being able to meet uh, with students here at the White House. Uh, you know, your generation's grown up in some of the tough ti toughest times that we've seen in a century. Uh, but one of the reasons that I'm always confident about America's future is because of you. And uh, when I see the incredible things that not just the winners uh, who are on stage with me uh, have done, but all the leadership that you guys have shown in so many uh, ways, whether it's combating discrimination and bullying, whether it is uh, housing the homeless and feeding the hungry, whether it is uh, figuring out how to put your environmental sensibilities into concrete action uh, and creating sustainable communities, uh, you know, whether it is making sure that young people get uh, the kinds of opportunities that all of you have been able to enjoy. It, it just gives me incredible confidence about uh, the capacity for this country to continue to adopt uh, new ways of doing things and to uh, create the kind of America that we all believe in, which is one where everybody has a fair shot and everybody gets a fair share and everybody's doing their part and taking responsibility uh, for not just this generation but for future generations. So you know, we want to create that kind of economy. Uh, we want to create that kind of society. Government policy can make a big difference in that. And obviously I've got some pretty strong opinions about uh, how we need to get there, uh, whether it's making sure that we're investing in clean energy or making sure the college is affordable, making sure that we're reforming our school systems so that uh, kids get the skills that they need, uh, making sure that uh, we are uh, rebuilding our infrastructure, encouraging entrepreneurship. Uh, all these things government can have an impact on. But ultimately, good government policy will only go so far. And what's really going to make a difference is the day-to-day -day actions, the social networks, the, uh, the entrepreneurship, not just in the marketplace, but also uh, in our communities and our societies. Uh, that's what's going to get us over the hump. And, and that all comes down to people. It comes down to vision. It comes down to creativity. It comes down uh, to have, having the courage to be willing to do things uh, that some people may not think are possible to get done. Uh, and, and so, so I, I, the, the, the last point that I want to I wanna make uh, to all of you is, uh, it's been said that you know, if, you're not, uh, if you're not idealistic uh, when you're young, uh, then uh, you, know, you got problems. <laughs> And if you stay idealistic when you're old, you got problems. Um, I'm a big believer that you can actually stay idealistic uh, throughout your life. Uh, because I think if you, if you ever lose that sense that I can make a difference, that I can bring about change that, that isn't just about me, but is something uh, about something larger than myself, if you ever lose that, um, then I think you know, you, you've shrunk your own horizons. You've, uh, uh, there's a poverty of ambition if you don't think that you can make a difference in this world. Um, the only thing I would caution is that as you go forward, uh, you'll hit some setbacks. And uh, you'll be frustrated. And there'll be times where the change that you were hoping for doesn't come as fast as you'd like. And I just want to make sure that all of you uh, understand that um, for you to be successful, over the long haul in doing the kinds of things that all of you obviously are interested in. Uh, there also has to be a little bit of grit and a little bit of persistence and uh, a, a, a willingness to fail sometimes and learn from your failures and adapt and then continue on. 
Um, I think you guys have that kind of grit. I think you have that kind of uh, sense of, of sticking to, to, to what you believe in. And, uh, and because of that, uh, I think you guys are all going to do remarkable things in the future. So congratulations to the winners. Uh, I'm proud to uh, recognize them. But this is a room full of winners. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing all the fantastic things you're going to be doing in the future. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you.